Hey everyone, this is Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and this is just a really quick sort of unboxing video. I uh, just had this arrive in the office, the ASUS EA AC87 5 GHz wireless AC1800 media bridge slash access point. Oh, I can take a bre breather now. Um, basically, a very, very long name, but a very, very useful piece of kit. So I already have a, uh, a Zeus router. It's an AC wireless router. Uh, it has a 5 gigahertz band and 2.4 gigahertz, and it's great. But the only problem is when you only have a single router and you're in quite a large property, you are always going to have problems with range and um, dead spots, that kind of thing. Now, my whole home, I'm actually trying to, at the moment, implement it to be a smart home. So that involves having uh, smart thermostats um, for my heating, as well as um, I've got Sonos connected ceiling speakers, and they're all connected via wireless. So this is gonna come in really handy just to kind of increase that range, sort of iron out any uh, dead spots that I may have, and so forth. So just wanted to sort of go through the box, what comes included, and so forth, uh, in the lead up to the next video, which is gonna sort of show uh, all of the kit working together. So um, just going through the box, typical sort of a Zeus networking um, style, you get a three year warranty with this, fast, easy, stable, um, five gigabit ports, gaming optimized, true 4x4 antennas, AI radar beamforming technology, signal indicator, and 4K multi-stream ready. Turning the box around, and you can see uh, a bit more about the actual specs, how it compares against uh, another media bridge or access point, and just basically how it connects in um, using media bridge mode or access point mode, and then just the different uh, connections, which I'll show you in a bit more detail. So let's start by opening it up and see exactly what we get included. Obviously we get the uh, the access point itself, but uh, we'll have a look at the accessories first. So straight away you get uh, an ethernet cable, a black one as well, just to tie in with the whole kind of theme of, uh, of the device being black. You get a, uh, a plug. Now this plug is pretty cool uh, because it has a UK plug on there, but by pressing the button you can actually detach the UK uh, connector and also included just to kind of, you know, uh, be uh, a global company you have the uh, European one. So we can just snap that into place and again, take it off. So it appeals for obviously uh, two different markets. And as it said on the, uh, the front, it has got four antennas. Now these are all detachable for kind of easy transportation and, and so forth. So four antennas, all Azure branded, and you can see uh, the actual screw connector. And uh, what it actually does is you have sort of three different uh, notches that you can have it in. So depending on if you've got it on either a surface or up on the wall, you may obviously want to move these around. So you've got your normal upright, sort of diagonal, or at the side. So I'll show you exactly how that connects in in a second. That's it for the accessories. So let's have a look at the actual device itself. So in typical kind of a Zeus networking uh, fashion, they have kind of this hexagonal um, design on there. Just kind of gives a bit more of a premium feel to the device. Branded Azus EA AC87 Wireless AC1800 Access Point Slash Media Bridge. Uh, it's quite a small device. Uh, it is quite light as well. On the back, you can see there's plenty of ventilation and there are um, two markings here um, for where you can obviously bolt onto the wall. Now, I'm not sure, because this is a review sample, whether they've shortchanged us or if it is meant to come with um, the screws and everything, but it's not too much of a big, it's just going to be any kind of flat-headed screw um, and obviously raw plugs as well. So on the side, we have the uh, two connectors for two antennas here, and then the same on this side. And then uh, if I show you with it screwed on, so you simply screw the connector on. And then once it's on there, you can, as I say, you can have it outright. So depending on if you've got it on uh, sort of this way, if you've got it on the wall or uh, obviously on a surface, or you can point it up so it's diagonal, or you can have it upright. And then it also turns as well. So what I'll probably do, just to kind of, uh, in, in personal experience of, I've had the best connection with, is kind of tilt it ever so slightly like that, and also kind of have it, I'm, I'm gonna have it on a, a worktop. So when it's down like that, I'll probably have it just pointing over towards the corner, this one pointing to that front corner, and then the other two the same. So uh, that's how that all goes on. Looking at the other kind of connections and buttons and things like that, you can see that on the back, we have the power input, power button, and then five gigabit ports. So, you know, if you do want to connect other devices in where you may not necessarily have uh, the ability to put a router in and you've got multiple devices, you can connect it into here. And then on this side, you have the two connectors for the areas again. You have a switch where you can take it from access point mode, 
flick it over into media bridge mode depending on your use. WPS button for easy connectivity. You can turn the LEDs on and off and then you have a little reset button as well. Now talking about the LEDs, we have a, a power LED, Ethernet LED, just so you know that you are getting a signal, and then the actual signal strength as well. So uh, quite cool. Uh, like I say, it doesn't really weigh too much, pretty understated and uh, will look great in any kind of environment. Also included is a quick start guide. Now at first I thought, Jesus, this is like huge for a quick start guide for something that's relatively simple device, but it is in multiple languages. Um, so they have catered for kind of every, every market there as well. VIP member warranty notice and also a support CD. But like I say, it is a pretty easy to use device. I'm sure the quick start guide is going to help you and there's more than enough information on the Azus website. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I say, I'm going to have some upcoming videos of, uh, of the device in action coupled with the router, looking at my Heatmiser Neo um, heating system as well as my Sonos connected uh, ceiling speakers and also I've got LG TVs which uh, I do stream 4k HDR content on so obviously with uh, with this it's just going to sort of strengthen that signal give me a, a bit more of a broader range so when I am streaming 4k uh, HDR content from the likes of Netflix Amazon Prime I'm just not going to have you know problems with buffering lag or anything like that it's just uh, really sort of future proofing yourself and just making sure your devices are connected to their to their top capability so yeah, um, hopefully uh, see you guys soon on the next video and uh, we will be looking at this in a little bit more detail and just how it ties in with my whole networking system. Thanks a lot and uh, until next time, see you later.